Hello, everyone. If you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. It would really help the channel out quite a bit. Thank you very much. The CBS Radio Mystery Theater presents... G. Marshall, come to lead you, safely I hope, through another encounter with the sinister happenings in which we specialize. We become involved in circumstances not dealt with in the nice conforming normal world we're used to. We run afoul of things not considered quite natural in our workaday world, and we may find them just a little frightening. Are you up to it? Heart sound? Nerves steady? Well, then. Are you going to start with that crazy bit, too? Kyle was into that this afternoon, and now you. Not crazy, Max. Just a temporary sickness. I'm all right, Helen. I just know what has to be done, and I intend to do it. No, Max. No. I will shoot you, Helen. Honestly, I will. I'd rather not. You know that. But I will if you make me. Now, promise me. You won't call the police. <laughs> Our mystery drama, M-U-R-D-E-R, -E was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Field and Farrington and stars Larry Haynes and Ralph Bell. It is sponsored in part by Anheuser Busch Incorporated, Brewers of Budweiser, and True Value Hardware Stores. I'll be back shortly with Act One. It only takes one glassful to know this beer. Budweiser is the king of beers. Ah, the crisp aroma of the choicest tops. And that famous snappy Budweiser taste that only the most careful brewing process and exclusive beechwood aging can deliver. And deliver it does. A smoothness, a drinkability, and cold, golden enjoyment you'll find in no other beer at any price. Anheuser Bush Headquarters, St. Louis, Missouri. In 126 years, Singer has sold millions of sewing machines, all with one thing in common, Singer quality. And during the last week of the quality for sale sale, that's something you can own for far less. Like the Futura 2 machine with button-fitting buttonholer for $80 off the regular price. That's the lowest price ever. Or the Fashion Mate machine with front drop in bobbin for just $89.95. But Singer knows it takes more than a low price to make a great sale. It takes quality. Price is optional at participating dealers. Is your bank open when you're busy and closed when you're not? Northwest Federal Savings knows that a good place to save is ready for you when you're ready. Ready with the answers and advice given by professionals in helping thousands just like you, but each with different individual needs. Northwest Federal's professionals can show you, too, the best way to save for a new home, college education, or retirement. Northwest Federal's counselors can explain all the savings plans and help you set up a savings program to meet your special needs. Home loan specialists can tailor a home loan plan to help make your dreams a reality. Bring your needs to any of five convenient Northwest Federal Savings Centers throughout Chicagoland's great Northwest Territory. If you think your needs are special, so does Northwest Federal Savings. All the time. Because Northwest Federal Savings keeps the best hours yours. It's Northwest Federal Savings time, 63 hours a week. In the usual course of things, the future is mercifully hidden from us. I say mercifully because few indeed are those among us who have only joyous elements in their futures. And who wants premature knowledge of the troubles that lie ahead? Oh, people go looking for it, that's true enough. Fortune tellers make a living. Tables tap and Ouija boards are brought out on quiet evenings at home. But in the main, the future keeps its secrets pretty well hidden. When it fails to do so, well... The results are unpredictable. Do you want to taste this, Helen, and see if it needs more wine or anything? Oh, sure. 
I'm glad you told me you're having beef bourguignon. I'm not sure anything else would have got Max out of the house tonight. Isn't he feeling well? Uh, I've been worried about Max, Gwen. How come? He's, uh, I don't know. He just seems withdrawn. He doesn't laugh anymore. He doesn't enter into things. To tell you the truth, Helen, that's the reason Kyle suggested this little dinner party. Well, I hope it helps. I've really been concerned. Well, we all know that Max has been having business worries. I mean, he's been having business worries ever since I've known him, but he's never acted like this before. I mean, it's like... It's been like living with a stranger. If I didn't think he'd blow up in my face, I'd suggest he see a psychiatrist. You about ready for another of these martinis, Kyle? Well, I have a feeling the girls are going to announce dinner before long. So, I'll take my drink to the table with me. Sure, Max. I'm not going to drown myself in martinis, Kyle, if that's what's worrying you. No, that's not what's worrying me, Max. I know what is it. Well, I think we've got the shoe on the wrong foot here. That's what I was about to ask you. What's troubling me? Mm-hmm. My partner kills himself. My business is in a total mess. <laughs> and you ask me what's troubling me. It is already, you two. Yeah, I'll be right with you. You want your drink, Max? I'll take it in with me. Gwen, there's nothing in all this world quite like your beef bourguignon. Isn't it great, Max? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Delicious. Very good. You ought to try eating some of it, Max. Well, I said it was good, didn't I? For Pete's sake. What do you all want from me, huh? Helen, uh, did, uh, did Gwen tell you about her Ouija board? Her what? Her, uh, well, tell her, Gwen. Well, I went to this garage sale over on Ridgewood Avenue, and I bought a Ouija board. That's all. That's all. There's been time for nothing else since she came home with the thing. Every evening, and it takes two of us... To use a Ouija board. <laughs> Do oh. you really believe in that? No, no, not really. Not seriously. Well, it uses bad language sometimes, and it can get very personal. <laughs> but you keep talking about what it does. Surely it doesn't do anything, not on its own. I mean, you have to push it, don't you? But, well, Gwen swears she doesn't push the thing, and I know I don't, not consciously, at least. I'll show you after dinner, Helen. Do you want to work it with me? Well, sure, why not? Fine, fine. That'll give Max and me a chance for a little private talk. What do we have to talk privately about? Max, don't be rude. You're all trying to help, huh? Invite poor old Max out to dinner. Good old Kyle and Gwen to the rescue. Who asked for it? You can't blame us for trying, Max. Well, it sure isn't getting us anywhere. Oh, that's my fault, I suppose. Sure, my fault. You don't know the troubles I got. None of you. You don't know. Not even me, Max? No, not even you. What would you say if I told you that my partner's been stealing me blind, huh? Tom? Tom Garth? Stealing me blind, and I caught him at it. That's why he blew his brains out. Well, that's uh, hard to believe of Tom Garth. Tom was into the firm for almost $100,000. Hey, you calling me a liar? No, I wasn't calling you a liar. Max, please, don't be like that. All right, all right. I couldn't believe it either until I'd gone over the books. Not even then. Not even when I'd seen it in black and white. But it's true. It's been going on for over a year, almost $100,000. It's an awful lot of money. Too much for Pickett and Garth, I'll tell you that. We're not big enough to drop $100,000 and go on as if nothing had happened. Max, if there's anything I can do... I can handle it. All right. There's no way I can get the money back. His wife doesn't have it. He left more practically penniless. Penniless? Ah, well, I guess she has enough to live on, but not enough to account for that 100000 he stole. Yeah, that's a mess, all right. Then why do we have to keep on and on about it? I'm sick to death of the whole thing. Max, uh, while the girls are still busy out in the kitchen, I, I, uh... Well, I can't swing it myself. I don't have that kind of money lying around, but I have connections over at first... National, you know, and if you need a, a loan to get you back on your feet, I'm, I'm sure I... No, 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 it wouldn't help. Might buy me a little time, maybe, but in the long run, wouldn't solve my problem. All right, we're going to play with Gwen's Ouija board. You don't play with a Ouija board, Helen. You work with it. <laughs> okay, play, work, whatever. You want to try it? I'll get it out. Carl, hmm? would you make some room so I can set it up on the coffee table? Sure. Now, don't get Helen hooked on the thing, Gwen. 
That's all I need, a Ouija board telling me to relax and take it easy. All right, now pull up the footstool, Helen. Oh, okay. That's what Carl always uses, because we have to sit on opposite sides of the table. All right. <clears throat> now, let's see. We start with a planchette here in the middle. A uh, planchette. Oh, that's what they call this little table thing that moves around on the board. This thing. Oh, all right. Okay. All right, now rest your fingertips very lightly on the top of the planchette. Mm -hmm. Lightly. Sometimes the planchette even moves under your fingers. Sure it does. Oh, that's the wrong attitude. Now, come on. Sit quietly and think about the planchette moving. Mm -hmm. Concentrate on it. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. You have to be patient. Is there a message for anyone? <gasps> It's moving. M. U. R. D. E. R. Murder. Good Lord. That's what it said. What about murder? It, it's going again. M. U. R. D. E. R. What is it? You want to tell us about murder. Somebody's pushing the damn thing. I'm not pushing it, Matt. M U R D E R. Well, how about another rubber? I don't think so, Carl. I haven't been getting too much sleep. I'd like to get to bed early tonight. Besides, we're losing. Oh, come on. It isn't even 11 o'clock. Well, we really ought to go, Gwen. We'd have been better off staying with a Ouija board. It's too spooky for me. Well, you have to admit it works, though. Uh, Don't you, Helen? It's got a one-track mind, and it's morbid. M-U-R-D-E-R. -E now, what kind of talk is that? Gruesome. Come on, Helen. Let's go. Well, listen, maybe you two can come over to our place next week. Give us a chance to get our money back. I'm going to be pretty busy next week, Helen. I don't know whether I'll have a free evening or not. Well, we'll, we'll play it by ear. Gwen, it was a lovely dinner. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. We'll see you next week or, or whenever. Yeah, so long, huh? Goodbye. Would you like a cup of coffee or something, Carl? No, I, I, I don't think so, Gwen. It, uh... Wasn't a very successful evening, was it? What's the matter with him, anyway? Helen's right. He's like a stranger. Well, you can understand Tom's death upsetting him, especially since Tom had been embezzling the firm's funds. That's really hard to believe of Tom Garth, isn't it? Mm. The Ouija board seemed to upset Max. Oh, you mean yelling murder? Well, it upset me, too. You know, darling, I'm going to break that thing up for kindling wood. <laughs> You didn't seem to enjoy the evening much, Max. I didn't enjoy it any. I told you we shouldn't have gone. Well, they're just trying to help. I wish everybody would stop trying to help. I can straighten things out if everybody will just leave me alone. Are you going right to bed? I don't know. Maybe I have a nightcap. You go on up if you want to. Max, you... I know you won't like this, but you've been drinking an awful lot lately. You're right. I don't like it. I mean, it isn't like you. Nothing you do lately is like you. He's out to get me. What are you talking about? Who's out to get you? Kyle Abbott. What? Max, Kyle Abbott is your best friend. Now that Tom Garth's dead, you mean? He was my friend, wasn't he? He stole $100,000 from me. Well, Kyle hasn't stolen anything from you, has he? We put her up to it, all right. I don't know what you're talking about half the time. I'm talking about Gwen Abbott and her stupid Ouija board. You push those things around, you know. They don't just go by themselves. I still don't see what that has... Murder. That's all she made it say. Murder, murder, murder. But if she was pushing it, why would she make it say murder? Because Kyle told her to. That's why. Why on earth would he tell her to do a thing like that? Because he thinks I killed Tom Garth. <laughs> Should a Ouija board be taken seriously? Those who do, and there are more of them than you might think, 
These believers will tell you that the Ouija board is a means of communication with the dead. Myself? I am a professional fence-sitter in these matters. I study the evidence and try to keep an open mind. There'll be more evidence to study when I return shortly with Act Two. Buy a Buick Opel any time and you get a sensational little car. One that's comfortable, fun to drive, built by a Suzu. Equipped with things like a four-cylinder overhead cam hemi engine, a short-throw four-speed manual transmission, plus reclining bucket seats, tinted glass, and rack and pinion steering. But there's more. Because due to popular demand, Buick's extended its special Opel gas offer through November 30th. Which means if you have the good sense to buy a new Opel now, Buick will reimburse you for 200 gallons of gasoline. And with 200 gallons of gas and a new Opel, you can do a lot of driving. Of course, your mileage may vary, but even at the estimated EPA city mileage of 23 miles per gallon, that's 4,600 miles. And on the highway, Opel's EPA estimate is 36 miles per gallon. The Buick Opel gas offer, it's still on. See your Buick Opel dealer soon for details. Make your best deal, and Buick will make it better. 200 gallons better. In California, EPA estimates are lower. Good evening. Surprised to see me again. Yes, Count Dracula is back, and I'm here to spread my story, and the whole story of vampirism. It's in my book, The Annotated Dracula. The illustrations will show you all the gothic horror of Transylvania. You see here, maps tracing my progress, victim by victim. And here, a calendar of my actions plotted against the faces of the moon. And look, a listing of all the films I've been in. You know, few have had the chance to meet me face to face. Few know me that intimately until now. The annotated Dracula, Bram Stoker's masterpiece with more than 100 photographs and drawings and notes to help illuminate the text. Get the annotated Dracula. Isn't there a horror film fan on your holiday gift list? Published by Ballantine Books and only $5.95 at your nearest Walden Bookstore. Wherever you are, there's a Walden Bookstore near you. Walden Books. Whatever you want in a bookstore, we've, we've got, got it. it. The cry of murder is a shrill and terrifying thing, even when articulated with the Ouija board's silence. When Abbott's Ouija cried murder this evening and then steadfastly refused to explain. Whose murder? Committed by whom? For what purpose? When? Where? How? No explanation. The repeated use of the word, however, was dramatic enough to give pause even to those who considered the Ouija nothing but a silly spelling game. Not one of the four who were present has had a good night's sleep. Hello? Kyle. Oh, yes, Gwen? I'm sorry to bother you at your office, dear. I can't meet you for lunch today, after all. At least I don't think I should. Why not? Helen Pickett just called me and asked me if I could meet her for lunch. She sounded terribly upset, and so I said I would. Something about Max? Well, she didn't say, but what else would she be worrying about right now? I'm sorry I'm late, Helen. The traffic was absolutely awful today. Have you ordered? Uh, no, I thought I'd wait for you. Have you been running? I hurried. You sounded so upset on the phone. Well, I am upset. About Max. Gwen, do you know anything about paranoia? No. Are you serious, Helen? Do you actually believe that Max is... Well, I, I, I can't believe that. Well, I don't want to, but something's wrong with him. And to tell you the truth, I'm scared. Scared of Max? Of him, maybe. For him, certainly. He said this morning he's going to see Maud Garth. Well, what, a sympathy call? I think he should. Not a sympathy call. He thinks she's out to get him. Now, those were his words. He thinks everybody's out to get him lately. Out to get him? In what way? Gwen, will you tell me something truthfully? Yes. Does that Ouija board really work on its own? Doesn't somebody have to push it? No, it goes by itself. I swear to you, Helen. I don't push it. Kyle certainly wouldn't. He hates the thing. You didn't push it last night. You weren't making it... Say murder the way it did? Absolutely not. Why do you ask? 
Max thinks you did. Look, even if I was manipulating it, why should that worry Max? He thinks Kyle put you up to it. Kyle? And I just don't understand it all. He thinks it's Kyle's way of accusing him, indirectly, of murdering Tom Garth. Who is it? It's me, Maud, Max Pickett. Hello, Max. How are you? Okay, I guess. You all right? Well, as all right as I can hope to be under the circumstances. Won't you come in? Thank you. Well, I'm afraid the place is in a mess. I'm in the middle of packing. Oh, you're going away? Yes. I found a little apartment. I'm moving. You know, this house is much too big for just me. Anyway, I, I seem to see Tom everywhere I look. Yeah, it must be pretty tough for him. I miss him a lot myself. Why do you keep looking at me that way? What way? Well, Tom was my friend, you know. We were more than just partners. We were friends. Well, I know that. And I can't understand why, why you think... What you think. Think what, Max? I, I don't know what you're talking well, about. Well, you think I had something to do with Tom's death, don't you? That somehow I'm responsible for it? Max! Such a thought never entered my mind. No, no, I wouldn't expect you to admit it, not to me. Look, I have a lot of enemies. And you're one of them. I can see that clearly now. I come here and offer you help, offer you money, and you still sit there looking at me that way, thinking how best you can ruin me, huh? Max, that's not true. But I'll win out in the end. You'll see, Maud. I'm smarter than all of you put together. And I'll win out in the end. Are you busy, Carl? Oh, no, darling, not too. Come on in. How was your lunch with Helen? Pretty ghastly, if you want to know. She's worried sick about Max. Well, after last night, I can't say I blame her. Do you think that he could be paranoid, Carl? <sighs> I don't know enough about it to say. Is that what Helen thinks? Well, she suggested it. Kyle, mm -hmm. how do you think Tom Garth died? How he really died? Well, suicide, I thought that was established. You don't think Max had anything to do with it? Well, good Lord, no, Gwen. What, now, why would I think a thing like that? Max seems to believe you do. He believes that... Oh, come on. According to Helen... He thinks you put me up to making the Ouija board say murder. He thinks it was your way of accusing him of murdering Tom Garth. Well, Helen imagined it. No, I don't think so. Well, I'll get this settled once and for all. What are you doing? I'm calling Max at his office. I'm going to settle this. Take it in, Kyle. Uh, Max. Yes, is that you, Kyle? Yes, uh, Max, I want to talk to you. All right. Go ahead. No, no, not on the phone. Will you have time after you leave the office this afternoon? I don't know. What is it you want to talk to me about? Well, I said not on the phone. You're not trying to set me up for something, are you, Kyle? Now, Max, what the devil are you talking about? I want to see you. Mom. All right, where? Um, uh, Kelly's Pub, 5.30, be all right? Kelly's Pub, 5.30. All right. <laughs> Maud, come in. I hope I haven't caught you at a bad time, Helen. No, not at all. Sit down, Maud. Are you all right? Oh, yes. I'm having a little trouble adjusting to be alone, of course, but... Well, I I'm all right. It must have been terrible for you. Not very pleasant. Helen, Max came to see me today. Oh, yes, he said he might. Well, he was... Very strange. I really didn't understand what he was talking about. He thinks of me as an enemy. He said so. In just those words. Oh, I'm afraid he's seeing enemies wherever he looks these days. But why me? He's just not himself right now, Maud. We spent yesterday evening with Gwen and Kyle Pickett, and Max got all upset about something a, 
a Ouija board said. A Ouija board? Well, Gwen's been on a Ouija board kick lately, and she and I were just fooling around with the thing last night, and it spelled out murder. Max was terribly upset. Has he said anything to you at all about thinking of me as an enemy? Given you any reason why he should feel that way? Well, I, I don't think so. He, he said so many strange things oh, that... You know, there's just no reason. Well, he'll be all right again soon, Maud. I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. Except that, Helen, if he thinks of me as his enemy, then that makes him my enemy, doesn't it? What do you have, Max? Scotch and soda, I guess. Two scotch and sodas here. Ready, please? How'd it go today, Max? Like every other day lately. Lousy. Is somebody else going to meet us here, Carl? No, no, I, I told you I just want to talk to you alone. I know that's what you said. These days, though, I don't put much stock in what people say to me. I can't afford to. Everyone's so crafty. Oh, now you just imagine that, Max. Oh, sure. That's what you'd all like me to believe, isn't it? You must think I'm very stupid not to see what's going on. Nothing. Nothing is going on, Max. I nothing. you call it nothing? Gwen making that damn Ouija board of hers keeps spelling out murder, murder, murder? Well, Max. Max, actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Now, I understand you think that I've been making accusations against you. How do you know that? Well, there's no mystery about it. Helen told Gwen. Gwen told me. Ah, eh, you see? See what? You're all working against me. Even Helen, going behind my back, repeating things I've said in private, plotting against me. Good Lord, I can't even trust my own wife anymore. Max, what's the matter with you? Well, now, why would I accuse you of murder? What earthly reason would the I... The same reason all the rest of them have to destroy Max Pickett. Max, you've got to stop this. Oh, yeah. Now, look, I'm your friend. We've, <laughs> we've been friends for uh, how many years yeah, We've now? known each other for a long time. That's true enough. We've been friends for a long time. Now, Max, you're... Not well. Oh. oh, now we're getting around to that, are we? Next you'll be saying I ought to see a psychiatrist, huh? Well, I, uh, I was going to suggest it, as a matter of fact. And then let it get around, right? Not only is old Max Pickett all the other things you accuse him of being, he's a loony, too, right? Max, I think a good psychiatrist could help you. Help me what? Ruin myself? All right, forget the psychiatrist. Just listen. I, I, I want you to trust me. I don't care about the rest of them, whoever they are. I want to help you, Max. I'm on your side. Nobody's on my side. Well, I am. Will you just believe me and trust me? Okay. Sure thing, Kyle. I trust you. All right. And you don't believe that nonsense you were talking to Helen last night, do you? About accusing you of murder? Oh, of course not. It's ridiculous. I don't think you're serious. <laughs> hey, you see? You don't trust me. Max? Max? What is it? Oh, I thought I heard you come in. Where are you? I'm in my study. Are you busy? Will I disturb you? I'm busy, but you won't disturb me. Why didn't you call out when you came in the way you usually do? I thought maybe... Max, what are you doing? I'm cleaning a gun. What does it look like? B what for? I don't like dirty guns. Do you mind? I had a drink with Kyle a little while ago. Oh? Any special reason? Do we need a reason? We're buddies, aren't we? Old Kyle and I? Yes, of course. At least that's what he kept telling me. Well, you are. You've been friends for years. Yes, he kept telling me about how long we've been friends. What difference does it make how long? It's what good friends we are. And that's what counts, huh? You are good friends. Oh, you bet. Another thing he told me. He told me he didn't accuse me of murder. Well, of course he didn't. I've said that all along. Helen? Yes? How did he know I thought he was accusing me of murder? How, how did he know? That's what I asked you. I don't know. 
Then I'll tell you. He knew that I thought he was accusing me of murder because you told him that's what I thought. I... I haven't even seen him. You told Gwen. She told him. Oh. Well, I, I guess I did mention it to Gwen, yes. Yes. So what that means is I can't trust my own wife any longer. There's nobody in the world I can trust. It's me against all the rest of you, isn't it? Max... You did it, didn't you? Did what? You killed Tom Garth. The human mind is an extremely delicate instrument. It serves us well when it is in proper working order, but it can serve us ill indeed when, through some maladjustment, it departs from its normal way and improperly dictates our purposes. We are prone in this condition, which is known as madness, to commit serious crimes, including the crime of M-U-R-D-E-R. I'll be back shortly with Act Three. True Value Hardware Stores suggest a way to communicate how much you care. Give a Robin CB radio this Christmas. Hi, Pat Summerall to tell you why. CB radios have almost become a necessity for anybody who drives. You can use them to get directions, call for help, or to stay alert when driving for long stretches at night or in bad weather. And the Robin Mobile Transceiver Package, a 23-channel CB radio with 5-watt transceiver, antenna, and PA speaker, offers a performance plus. You get top-quality features plus good looks at surprisingly low prices. True Value Hardware Stores also offer the Deluxe Robin Digital CB Radio, a 23-channel transceiver with superb sound reproduction. It features squelch control to reduce interference, a large digital channel readout, and a handsome wood grain front panel. This Christmas, communicate how much you care. Give a Robin CB Radio from participating True Value Hardware Stores. True Value, that's more than just a name. It's their way of doing business. WBBM Chicago. You can buy yourself some time at True Value Hardware Stores because right now they offer time-saving rival crockpots that cook by themselves, so you have more time to do other things. Get an automatic shift three-and-a-half-quart crockpot for just $19.88. It starts out at a high temperature to seal in flavor and then automatically shifts to a low setting to bring out the flavor of soup, stews, chili, or whatever. True Value Hardware Stores also offer rival crockpots with removable liners for stylish serving and easy cleaning. The stoneware liners lift out so you can serve directly from the pot and have less dishes to wash. And they're dishwasher safe, so there's no need to worry about cleanup. Choose a four-quart or jumbo five-quart size. Get these time-saving rival crockpots at participating True Value Hardware stores. True Value Hardware is more than just a name. It's a way of doing business that means true. say that in every man's psychological makeup, there are criminal tendencies held in leash only by the thin veneer we call civilization. And civilization is nothing more than a code of behavior we have imposed upon ourselves because the alternative is chaos. If our minds were not strong enough to hold in abeyance our purely animal tendencies, we would surely lapse into what we call insanity. It happens in individual cases, and the results are appalling. Hello? Hello, Gwen? Yes? This is Maud, Gwen. Maud Garth. Oh, Maud, how are you? I'm okay. A little lonely, of course, but that's just something I'll have to get used to. Are you seeing people? Are you getting out now and then? Well, enough. As much as I want to. Uh, Gwen, Helen tells me you're a Ouija board freak. Oh, well, I, I do have a board. I mean, I don't know if that makes me a freak. I just fool around with it, you know. Uh, when I can get somebody to work it with... Oh. Well, I had one when I was a kid. A I always get a kick out of it. Maud, could you hold on a minute? Yeah. Carl, is that you? Yes, it's me. I'm on the phone, dear. I'll be with you in a couple of minutes. No hurry. Sorry, Maud. Carl just came in. Oh, well, I won't keep you. No, no, no. I'm in no rush. 
What about Ouija boards, Maud? Well, I was just wondering if I could come over sometime when you're free and maybe we could have a session with yours. Oh, sure, any time. What about later this evening? Oh, that would be nice. Are you sure you're not busy? Oh, I haven't got a plan to my name. Maud? Yes? How come? I mean, why do you want to work with a Ouija board all of a sudden? Well, I just, uh... I suppose it's silly, but with Tom gone and everything, they do say Ouija boards are a kind of contact with people who have passed away, don't they? I don't take it quite that seriously, Maud. Well, it wouldn't hurt to try, would it? I don't know. To tell you the truth, it doesn't sound very healthy to me. I'd like to try it all the same, Gwen. Okay, but don't be too disappointed if it doesn't work, though. Oh, I won't. I promise. Around 8.30, then. That'll be fine. And Gwen, thank you. Oh, forget it. I'll see you at 8.30. Who are you seeing at 8.30? Maud Garth. Maud, how come? She wants to work the Ouija board with me. Oh, that darn Ouija board. What's her interest? Well, it's sort of morbid, apparently. She wants to see if she can get in touch with Tom. Oh, Lord. Next we'll be having seances. Well, I couldn't say no, could I? No, I guess not. Did you see Max? Yes, I sure did. And? Weird. Gwen, I'm afraid he's in trouble. Oh, dear. Carl... Why would it occur to him to think you suspect him of killing Tom Garth? I really don't know. If he's really slipped a cog, there's no point in trying to analyze his thinking. But what if... Carl, what if he did kill Tom Garth? You're like all the rest of them, aren't you, Helen? You think I killed him? I only asked you. You couldn't testify against me, you know. You're my wife. Did you, Max? Yes. Well, he's the one who made it necessary. I didn't want to kill him. He just wouldn't have it any other way. Max, you really did. A man has to protect himself, Helen. That's biological. When you're in danger, you have to take steps to avoid the danger. It's what evolution is based on, survival of the fittest. Why, Max? Oh, Lord, why? He was threatening me. He should have known I'd have to do something about it. It was his fault. Threatening you how? He was talking about sending me to jail. Can you imagine that? We've been partners and friends for all these years. He was going to send me to jail. Just the way he would a stranger. How could he have sent you to jail? He had the evidence, of course. The books were rigged. He had it all right there, right there in front of him. Are you saying it was you who stole money from the firm... You? Not Tom? The firm was half mine, wasn't it? How can you call it stealing? Besides, I meant to pay it back when I could. There wasn't any big rush, was there? But he wanted it all back, all of it. My half as well as his. Max, why did you do it? We were all right. We didn't need the money. Oh, no. What about that swimming pool out back you spent half the summer in? You think that came out of my salary? I had the salary I take from Pickett and Garth? No way, no way. What about the country club? Where do you think that money came from? And other things. Lots of other things that you enjoy just as much as I do. But we didn't need them. We could have lived without the pool or the club. Helen, why did he have to go snooping in the books anyway? Why couldn't he have trusted me? Max, what are we going to do? I didn't enjoy it, believe me. If you're thinking I did, you're wrong. I didn't like doing it at all. Oh, if only you had. He was pacing back and forth in his office there, back and forth, back and forth, accusing me, accusing me of stealing and all that. He should have known it would make me angry. But if you were stealing... Back and huh? forth, back and forth. So when he was facing away toward the window, I took the gun out of his desk drawer. Everybody knew he kept a gun there. Well, Max, I don't want to hear anything. And then I waited until he sat down at his desk again. And I put the gun up against his head and I pulled the trigger. Max, please. Please. What are you going to do now? Well, it's hard to know. I'm going to have to kill Kyle Abbott, of course. <sighs> And Gwen, too, I suppose. They both guessed, and... Max, you can't. But I've got to, Helen. Don't you understand? There's no other way. I hope 
hope I'm not putting you to too much trouble, Gwen. No trouble at all, Maud. Carl and I fool around with a Ouija board almost every night anyway. Yeah, well, we just fool around with it. We don't take it seriously, Maud. I'm not sure I approve of what you're going to try to do. Well, I just want to see if Tom is... If I can speak to him. Well, let's try it. Now, you know what to do, Maud. Oh, yes. You just ask it the questions. Oh, well, um... <clears throat> Is it... Is it possible to communicate with Tom Garth? Give it a moment. Ask again. I'm trying to get in touch with... With the spirit of Tom Garth. Is it possible to speak with him? It's moving. It's going up to the yes corner. Is this Tom? Yes. Is it... Is it all right where you are? Yes, again. Oh, now that I've done it, I don't know what to say. Do you have a message for Maud? M? You are D-E-R. Oh, no, not again. Wait, was it you who kept saying murder last night? says yes. Do you mean... Do you mean you were murdered, Tom? Yes. Who did it? Who? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It hasn't finished. A N D Y O U And U B A L L T H R E, E, all three. Do you mean that all three of us in this room are going to be murdered? M, A, X, Max. I have to go, Gwen. I can't stay here all night. Well, I don't see why not. Well, I have to go home sooner or later. I mean, can't we call the police? And tell them we've been warned by our Ouija board that somebody's planning to murder us? I don't think they'd pay much attention. You don't think we ought to take the warning seriously? Well, I admit I feel sort of uncomfortable about it, but no, I don't think we should take it too seriously. It's only a Ouija board, a gadget. Well, then, there's nothing to keep me from going home, is there? Well, unless you're going to be frightened. No, no, I think you're right. I'll go now. Where are you going, Max? Out. Are you going to the Abbott's house? I thought I'd pay them a call, yes. Max, you mustn't. If you leave here, I will call the police and tell them. I will. I'll call them and I'll tell them. Max, please, don't point that gun at me. You're like all the others. You bring it on yourself. I can't let you call the police. You'll spoil everything. Everything I planned. Max, please listen to me. You are sick. They will take care of you. The whole thing's been too much for you. The police will know that, and they will take care of I'm you. I'm all right, Helen. Don't you think I'd know? I'm perfectly all right. I just know what has to be done, and I intend to do it. No, Max. No. I will shoot you, Helen. Honestly, I will. I'd rather not you know that, but I will if you make me. Now, promise me you won't call the police. Well, if you won't, promise. All right, all right. I promise. I won't call the police. Carl, I'm worried about Maud. Well, you shouldn't be any more worried about her than about you and me. The Ouija board said we'd all three get it. I don't think it's funny. Well, neither do I, darling. But I don't think we ought to let it get out of perspective in the other direction either. After all, it was a Ouija board that warned us, Gwen. It's a Ouija board, a toy. I don't consider it a toy. Well, maybe not, but neither is it an oracle. That must be Maud. She promised to call when she got home. Hello, Maud? Maud? No, it's Helen, Gwen. Helen Pickett. Helen, what's the matter? You sound so... Gwen, you've got to get out of there. You and Kyle. Get out of here? Out of the house right away. Go someplace where he can't find you and stay there. Don't let him find you there at your house. Find us? Who, Helen? What? Max. Don't you understand? Max is on his way there right now with a gun. He's going to kill you. Max is on his way here? He'll be there any minute. Just get out of the house. Run. 
What was all that? Max is on his way over here with a gun. That was Helen. She said we should get out of the house. Good Lord, did she call the police? No, I don't think so. Oh, darling, should we just go? We can phone the police from somewhere else. No, this won't take you... a minute, darling. Uh, hello. Yeah, yes, yes, please. I'm calling from 434 Oak Street. We, we've been warned there's a man coming here with a gun intending to kill us. Yes, 434 Oak Street. Uh, Abbott, Kyle Abbott. Well, he's on. Get down, get down. Hello, did you hear the shot? Now, please get over here as fast as you can. Are you all right, Kyle? Yes, darling, are you? I'm all right. I'm so scared. Just stay down, Just stay down Gwen. Now, listen, I'm going to work my way around to the light switch. Careful. Hurry, Kyle, hurry. Yes, I've got it. That won't do you any good. Turning the lights off. You'd have saved yourself all this trouble, Carl, if you'd only minded your own business. You hadn't got nosy about Tom Garth. It's just a matter of time, you know, until I find the light switch. You couldn't leave well enough alone, huh? Why don't you answer me, Carl? Why don't you say something? Did I get you with that one? Well, as soon as I find the light switch. Are you all right, Gwen? Yes. Are you? Yes, I'm okay. I'm okay. I hit him with a bookend. C can you find the light switch? Yes, I think so. We... Oh, he's bleeding. Well, I hit him pretty hard. <laughs> He's coming around now. But he's still bleeding. That's tough. Max, Max, can you hear me? What happened? I uh, belted you over the head with a bookend. Oh, Max, why did you do it? I had to. You knew I'd kill Tom. No, no, actually, we didn't at all. Ah, oh, yes, you did. You can't fool me. But why did you kill Tom? I never had enough money. Not for the things we wanted. That's the whole thing. I never had quite enough money. Ah, oh, oh, don't let them take me. Please, please, please don't let them they, take no, me. They won't, they won't hurt you, Max. They know you're sick. I'll answer the door. I can't say that we've made out an airtight case in favor of Ouija boards. Many people explain their odd behavior by blaming the unconscious segment of the mind of the person whose fingers are on the planchette. How will you react the next time a planchette under your fingertips spells out M-U-R-D-E-R? -E I'll be back in a few minutes. A lot of folks say the only differences between beers are the names. Well, I know some people who wouldn't like to hear that. Because for 100 years, they've been Beechwood aging their beer to give it a taste of smoothness and a drinkability found in no other beer at any price. Why go to all that extra time and expense? They know you can tell a great beer when you taste it. You said You've said it all. Anheuser-Busch, headquarters, St. Louis, Missouri. Bronchial asthma, but I got a road to rip up, too. So I take Broncade tablets. They help keep my occasional asthma attacks away for hours. Primatine tablets, they work, but Broncade has something extra to help get rid of congestion. And with asthma, getting rid of bronchial congestion is really important. Broncade helps me breathe easy for hours. It works almost as hard as I do. Broncade tablets do more to let you breathe easier. Use only as directed can cause hemorrhoids? Strenuous activity, pregnancy, constipation, change in diet. Oh, well, are pain and itching symptoms? Mm, sometimes. If you suffer occasional pain and itching of hemorrhoidal tissues, use Preparation H to relieve discomfort for hours in many cases. And Preparation H actually helps shrink swelling of hemorrhoidal tissues caused by inflammation. Hmm. You know, I'll try it. Use only as directed. Preparation H comes in ointment or suppositories. Relieves pain and itch. Helps shrink swelling of hemorrhoidal tissues. The standard engine is a V8. Standard tires, steel belted radials. There are front and rear stabilizer bars, special springs and shock valving, fast ratio power steering. 
and a rally steering wheel. What makes all this interesting is that it belongs to a full-size six-passenger Buick, the 1977 LeSabre Sport Coupe. You'll have to drive it to believe it. Three murders have been averted, and the mystery of a fourth one solved. And there's no denying that the Ouija board played an important role in this. Unfortunately, it appears to have been the Ouija's swan song, for it leans now against the back wall of one of the closets in the Abbott house. For Gwen, its charm is gone. When she dusts it each spring, she does her best not to study it too closely. For one set of letters stands out as though painted in red. M-U-R-D-E-R. Our cast included Larry Haynes, Ralph Bell, Terry Keene, Marion Seldes, and Marion Haley. The entire production was under the direction of Hyman Brown. Radio Mystery Theater was sponsored in part by Buick Motor Division. This is E.G. Marshall inviting you to return to our mystery theater for another adventure in the macabre. Until next time, pleasant dreams.